Okay, so I'm breeding my girls here for back to school. That was the weave that we use, which is the pre-scratch. Um, that's always good for whenever you're doing knotless, which is what we're doing. Um, these are the products, which is the hair rack for the hair, the lock gel, um, the mousse, and then also scissors. So those are the equipments that you're going to need as well as with the comb. Um, the lock gel at first, I didn't like it because I felt like um, it didn't lay down your edges as much but as I breed with it and use it um, I noticed you know that it wasn't a, a build up with using it um, after taking out your hair as far as like uh, with the lints the bees and the braids and things of that sort um, it's definitely pricey which is $25 but that is now my go-to um, so you braiders out there may want to try it as well um, I'm breeding my girls back to school. Um, they're here. I, I hate doing here, but whenever they call and ask, then I'll definitely get it done. Um, so this is my niece as well as my goddaughter, and I'm doing her here for back to school. And then you will see my other niece as well towards the end of the video. Um, she also wanted the same style, so I end up doing hers as well. Now, with the knotless, she kind of wanted them big. Um, but I told her, you know, I wanted to make sure that it lasts a good bit of time while she's in school so she don't have to worry about getting another style, um, you know, too soon. So I end up doing a little bit smaller, um, but a little bit box big. Uh, but yeah, just enjoy the video. Now this part, I kind of slowed it down some for you guys just to see as to how I add the hair in for the knotless braids um, whenever I'm breeding it. Also, I tend to try to tuck the actual, um, her, her real hair uh, underneath the weave or the pre-scratch hair, whatever you want to say about it. Um, so that way it's not fuzzing into the actual braid itself. So you just kind of start it off like you're breeding an actual braid and then you just tend to add in the hair as you're braiding it.
Oh
Okay, so here's where I slowed it down once again for you guys. So that way you can see me adding the orange here, which was a, a great pop as well. Um, but you can see me tucking her natural reel here um, underneath the orange here. So that way you don't see the orange and the black hair mixed together. Um, so as I'm braiding it down, you would see me pull it to the side and tuck it underneath the orange and this is just a tucking method of how you would tuck the hair underneath any type of pop of color that you're adding in now whenever it's the actual braided hair and not a feed in it's best to you can better tuck it that way but whenever you have a feed in just keep in mind that you have to start with the natural hair first and then add in the weave which is the color um, so that's why you would normally see the natural black hair to the beginning of the braid and then also to the bottom you would see the color as long as they're tucking it correctly <laughs>
guys that is it we're to the end hope you guys like don't forget to comment subscribe and share